the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of Jesus preaching in the temple. Mary and Joseph are returning from Jerusalem, and they're returning in the large caravan. They've just spent time honoring God in one of the three celebrations throughout the year that all Jews were required by law to return to Jerusalem to celebrate as one people. And filled with this joy and exaltation and honoring and glorifying God, Joseph and Mary, their family, and the entire caravan with which they are traveling have traveled a day's journey back home, but they are still far from home. And so they camp for the night. And as Joseph and Mary are looking in the caravan to find Jesus, they cannot find him. And so they return. And after three days, they find Jesus in the temple in Jerusalem. And he's preaching. He's preaching to the wonder and amazement of the priests and the scholars of the law. This 12-year-old youth is speaking the truth of God and speaking it with an authority and in such a way that those who have dedicated their life to studying the revealed word of God have not heard it so beautifully, so powerfully, so lovingly. Indeed, there is joy. It is, if, it is as if the word of God has become alive and anew in them. It's as if they've heard it for the first time. And they have in many ways heard it for the first time because they heard it from the word of God himself. Now, since joy is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, where is the Holy Spirit in this beautiful mystery, this fifth mystery, the Holy Spirit is there. He is present in the hearts of those who are hearing the Word of God, proclaimed by the Word of God. It is the Spirit stirring within their hearts this awe and wonder, a gift of the Holy Spirit. In beholding and listening and experiencing and encountering God's revelation through the one who reveals God himself. And there is joy too in the reunion between mother, virginal father, and son. Mary and Joseph are amazed too at seeing Jesus preaching in the temple and certainly having been worried and anxious at having missed him, experience immense joy at finding him again. We can imagine that as they were searching for those three days, searching throughout Jerusalem, they may very well have been asking others if they've seen Jesus. They may very well have been asking what the speaker in the Song of Songs was asking, Have you seen him whom my heart seeks? Have you seen him whom my heart loves? Is there not joy, my dear friends in Christ, when you and I meet the one whom our heart seeks and whom our heart loves? Saints of the making, as you pray this, your rosary today, and you should pray the fifth joyful mystery, the finding, of Je the finding of the child Jesus preaching in the temple. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you awe and wonder at how this Word of God preaches and speaks the Word of God. And ask the Holy Spirit to abound in you the great fruits of joy, so that you might know what it's like to find him whom your heart loves and him whom your heart seeks. 
And when you find him, my dear friends of Christ, it will be because you have made space for grace.